I was all set to go, and then we had a video card crash right at the time I was going to go live. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that awesome? Now, I got to set up all over again here. Looks like I'm okay, though. So, how are you? This is Chris Jones Gaming, and we always have to deal with tech issues. So, it's no exception for me. Happens to me all the time. So, I'm going to fire up Star Trek Legacy. We're going to go live tonight, play a, an original series mission, which is what we're doing. So, engage. Might as well go through the setup process. I wasn't going to do that, but I will now. So. I did promise in the post and in some of the promotions that I was going to talk about upcoming gaming projects. And I'll do that uh, during, the, uh, during the gameplay. What we're going to hear and what we're going to see is something from a game from 2006. Why don't you play something new? <laughs> well, I will. But I want to show you but I want to show you what what we did and what we're going to be doing. Things like that. All right, so let me get into the sharing mode here. All right, share screen window legacy right there i'll just go down into the corner here and here we are again okay so see my mouse there is that working all right good i'm gonna do an exploration mission this is one of the ones that i mapped up i remember this um use some original sound effects all that we don't have game audio feeding into the into the uh, live stream right now, but you will hear it out of the speaker. Anyway, it'll be good enough, and I'm going to be narrating anyway, so that's what we're going to do. There's like a bunch of these. This is original series, TOS, they call it, the original series of Star Trek. We're going to do this thing called Formation of a Star. That's the mission we're going to be playing. Deal with the Romulans is the only objective. It's supposed to be an exploration mission, but it gets interrupted. Captain, the alien ship has changed course and speed, moving directly toward us at warp eight. Flight is on. Red alert. Phaser, stand by to fire on my order. Aye, sir. Shields on. Phasers. And then ready, sir. Grab some original show audio from Star Trek. I think that was the Journey to Babel episode. So. All right, so far, easy. Headed towards a moon out there. I know there's a Romulan lurking somewhere. Where is he lurking? Ah, we found him. There he is. He's off in the distance. There is no escape for you. That's what he thinks. Ooh, got off a couple of shots at me. We're in a nebula, which makes targeting difficult sometimes. Okay. We've done him some damage. He did a little bit to our shields there. Come on now. Stand against us, you invite your doom. He 
He's about done. Won't stay locked. Uh oh. You would stand against us? You invite your doom. Really? Not looking that way right now. It's not looking that way. It looks like I'm going to be getting his doom. <laughs> Ooh! I just heard an asteroid explode. He's gone. Oh, not quite. Uh, you would stand against us? You invite your doom. He likes to repeat things that aren't true. Oh, there he goes. I thought I saw another Romulan on the scanners. Uh-oh. I can't seem to get a lock. Asteroid blew up. You're clearly outmatched. Really? Come on. Don't you love those sounds? You would stand against us? You invite your doom. Doom? Did you just say we were doomed? Really? Who's got the most damage here? I have I have some though. Not how to do it. Oh, not quite. Fool! You're clearly outmatched. And then he blows up after he says that. Do some repairing. Probably should. It's the hull and the weapons. I'm not too worried about the sensors right now. Now what? Well, we're not done yet. I think there's a third Romulan in here somewhere. Oh, there's a cargo ship. I wonder where he's up to. You see it out there in the distance? Or our speed is reduced due to the repairing that we've had to do. We did get a few hits from the Romulans. So it's looking... Not so good on the hull right now, but we are getting repairs. We might as well get everything to 100% now. And let's scan, too. The formation of a star. Seem to have lost our buzzard rotation animation. Because of the damage to the warp nacelles. Broadcasting live on Twitch, YouTube, I think three Facebooks, even Twitter tonight. I'm not sure. I'm going to be doing more live gaming. I'm not sure about the timing and when, but I'll publish that when I can. Huh. 
thought there was another Romulan somewhere, but I'm not picking him up. Hmm. Unless he's so far out. Let me go follow that cargo ship. I think I'm all repaired now. Yeah, I am. Where's he headed? It's a science ship, 59, uh, 59 units of speed, I guess you call it. Ah, I do see him now. He was elusive. He's way off, though. Romulan bird of prey. Way out there in the middle of nowhere. Long-range sensors. Didn't even pick him up immediately. A stealthy little guy. So why don't we just go meet him? There he is. Oh. The Praetor demands your destruction. He does, huh? Some of my favorite sound effects when I was a kid. Star Trek reruns. Balance of Terror. Mindwipe? <laughs> That's the name of an asteroid. Mindwipe. That's funny. Fools, you are clearly outmatched. Am I? Ooh. I don't like to go full speed when I'm fighting. Like this. You would stand against us? You would fight your doom. We have a mission objective. Spock says sensors show an abandoned science station. Kirk says, Helm set a course. Mr. Spock scanned the station when in range. Sulu goes, aye, aye, sir. Spock says, acknowledged. Now, where is that abandoned science station? Oh, where did it go? There it is. And it looks like it's damaged from a distance here. So we'll see what we're up to here. Any comments, you can throw them in the chat because I can see them. Whatever platform you're on. Oh, it is damaged. I remember writing this mission. How many years ago? Not writing it. That's not the right thing. I was coding it. That science ship is somewhere near here, too. Let's go around the other side. Let's go around the other side. There's the damage. They've been damaged. Did those Romulans get it? I'm just going to sit here now. Now, I have to hail. Or scan, actually. So, where's we going to scan, scan? Objective complete. Spock says, no life signs, Captain. The station was attacked just recently. The air is breathable. Kirk says to Scotty, beam an engineering team to the station. Starfleet could use it. Any other Romulans, Spock? And I think Spock said no. But for some reason, I'm not comfortable right now with this. Something is afoot. Because the music that's playing is not like you want everything. So I think maybe, let's check and see if we need any repairs. Nope. 
Long range sensors again. Self destruct? No, not today. We're just going to kind of head out into the wilderness here. Away from the science station. There goes that science ship. Want to go say hi to him? I'm going to float right, right below him here. Give him a wide berth, but kind of get a look at him. Oh, that's a neat little view. Going about his business. Why am I still not comfortable? I'm going to head back towards that sun. Formation of a star. Still not happy here. One of these asteroids is damaged. I think when they blow up, well, I know but when they blow up, they kind of affect each other. There's like damage radius. If you're too close to it, you don't do well. Where? Let's just go back into the asteroids. And the nebula near the sun. In fact, this is going to take a while, so I'll just warp there. Oh! Mr. Spock? Name of Take evasive action. We've lost all power. Engineering, what's going on down there? Engineer Scott! Oh, no. Spock, what was that? undetermined something hit us badly. We're not doing well. I'll stop. Oh, gosh. Look at this mess. Now we did it. Wow. All right. What do we got? Oh, my gosh. Sensors are almost dead. Weapons are shot. Engines are half dead. Warp drive is out. The hull is fried, and the shields are half dead. Boy, what happened there? What was that? Start repairs now. Scotty gets 17 engineering teams on deck. Do we even have that many engineering teams? We're going to sit here for a few minutes. I knew I wasn't comfortable. I knew something else was going on. And I didn't know what. But apparently there was something, some kind of proximity something hidden inside an asteroid. Or some object that we went through or near. So, that's crazy. Upcom I did talk about uh, upcoming game projects uh, in the post I mentioned. So, upcoming game projects could include science fiction. I mean, this Ultimate Universe mod with Star Trek Legacy was one of the most successful things that I was ever involved in as a, uh, as a team leader. I eventually turned over the reins to one of the more technical people. I did some of the tech work, not a lot. I did some of the coding of the, of the, uh, of the weapons for the intensity of, you know, phasers, photons, uh, quantum torpedoes for TNG. And some of the other stuff, uh, sound effects, and I wrote some missions. I wrote this one actually. I keep saying right. I coded it through uh, the mission editor. We're getting repaired. A little bit at a time. I think I'll turn off the whole repairs for now and let the other ones get there, do their thing. But uh, I think we can cruise along a little bit here now. I don't want to just sit here. It didn't say mission over yet, did it? So there's something else lurking out here. I don't know where or what. I have no idea. 
Hope that little cargo ship is okay. Your name here. <laughs> well, I guess I missed that one. Didn't name it. Or did I? I named them all as funny things. Joe. The Apple. Flying Gas. Planet Chunk. Rock 1180. <laughs> Chunked. Rock. Rocks United. Where did I get these names from? Must have had a Star Chunk. Rock. That's easy. New Chunk. There's the science station way out there. Uh, don't get too close. Oh, that's the one. Somebody warned us. Solar Storm. And then some other ones. Chunk. Ultimate Universe. Hey, that's a good one. A Big Rock. A new future. I wonder what happens if you hit that. I'm not going to find out. Where? I'm going to. How are my sensors doing? I think I want them back before anything else. Because I'm going to do another long range scan in a few minutes here. This is going on a while. I appreciate you watching. If you have any comments, throw them in the chat. Hey, Chris, how come you're not playing a modern game? Because <laughs> I like this one. No, I do have plans. Can't reveal them quite yet. I do know that I have a new game in my head. And I want to gather up some talent for that. Get a few people in mind and probably recruit some new people as well. All right, how's my sensors doing? Okay, I have full sensors. And I'm just going to sit here and come on. There we go. Mouse is being glitchy tonight. So now we'll do this. Long range sensors. Something else. Now we'll move a little. Hmm. Mission's not over. If I can't find there's well, I remember coding up this mission, and there is one more ship in here. But I don't know where the heck he went or is. Maybe it's a she. I don't know. Oh, here's one. I'd rather be fishing, it says. That's the name of the rock. This one is Mind Wipe. We saw that one earlier. One of many chunks. A piece of the action. Remember that episode from... Hello, Frederick. How are you? Frederick, you're watching on Facebook. Chris Jones Gaming Facebook, I think. How are you tonight? By the way, does this look all right? We're having a few listeners now, or viewers, so that's cool. There, is, I uh, coded up this mission, and I can't remember where the other ship was. I, I believe it's a Klingon, but I just can't. I'm out, and if you're near the station, he tends to come to you. So maybe he's coming in from a distance. Just haven't seen him yet, but I'm waiting to see him. I'd rather have my other stuff working well, though. Let's get the hull back to shape. Frederick, where are you located? What what country, what city, state, whatever. If you don't want to say, that's cool. Swing around. Go the other direction. I don't remember where he was. You know, he might have been over near the planet. We 
which is called Uncharted. California. Cool. So it's early for you. It's, uh, what, 8 o'clock? Something like that. Yeah, I did. I uploaded videos to YouTube. Several. Um, Chris Jones Mods is the name of the... Chris Jones Mods is the name of the YouTube channel. Ultimate Universe stuff. A lot of other stuff. There's 1,100 subscribers on that YouTube channel. And we're live on it right now, by the way. And Twitch. I have a Twitch channel, Chris Jones Gaming. In fact, I had a, I had a Twitch channel, but I had other, other stuff. I do podcasts and uh, video marketing stuff on another channel. Uh, another whole life, really. So I'm doing this and that. Let's go near this planet. That might be where this guy's hanging out. I just haven't. Some of the views, I was trying to go for a certain view in this mission with all these nebulas. A certain look, where is this damn Klingon? Maybe it's, maybe this is an earlier version that somehow the Klingon got erased. But it would say mission over. And it hasn't said that yet. I could go shoot an asteroid. You want to go shoot an asteroid? Well, there it goes. Okay, Rock 1180. Uh oh. I don't want to get too close. We've got a blast radius there. All right, swing around. I don't. I'm going to have to go with the fact that the Klingon isn't here anymore, and I don't know why. It used to be, but anyway, he's not here now. I'm seeing a bunch of viewers here. If you would like to comment, where are you calling for calling? Where are you from? <laughs> He's getting damaged just being in that nebula. Let's see if we can help there. I've actually never seen Legacy do this. Look at that asteroid. It's causing a bit of lag in the game, and I got a damn good machine here. It's not showing much damage on the asteroid. Well, I don't want to sit here and just blow up asteroids all night. How about I try a different mission? Look at the way that thing's behaving. Let's turn off the HUD and get a better look at it. Hmm. Interesting. Being affected by the nebula that's near it. Interesting.
Now, for now, we're just doing astronomical research, Mr. Spock. What needs fixing? Let's get the engines up to full. That's funny how it does that. All right. Enough of that. The other asteroid's doing it too. Chunks are flying off it. See that one down there? They're all doing it. It's because of the sun formation. See that down there? Look at that one down below us. They're all doing that. I'm going to go see if I can find that Klingon. I'm going to go right to the edge of the map. Yes, I have enjoyed the new Star Trek shows. Um, Discovery was decent, especially when they got Captain Pike involved. A little too much of the... The Captain Burnham show, but uh, that was fine. It was a good show. Picard was awesome. The best one so far is Strange New Worlds because it looks like a modern version of TOS. TOS. It, it, it's got all the, you know, you can't expect everything to look like the original series with all the 60s uh, tech that they had and, the, you know, kind of the campy looking thing. It looked great. I was alive in the 70s, actually the 60s when that came out, and I was loving it. I thought it was the most awesome thing. But I got no way. I can't select anything now because I'm too far away from everything. Let's see here. I think I want to go in this direction. I'm glad you're able to hear the audio because I have a speaker next to the microphone. We'll see if I can run into a Klingon. I haven't given, quite given up on this Klingon yet. He should have been a, coming at me after I scanned the um, station and beam. Oh, I think I was supposed to beam over there. You know what? Oh, man. Now I remember what I was supposed to do. Because uh, the, the text faded out too quick and I forgot what I was doing. Where's the station? I think I had to beam over there. Then the Klingon showed up. All right, it's been it's been too long. Here we go. Come here. Yes, that's it. I was supposed to beam over. That activates the, the bad guy Klingon. Oh, well. I had fun blowing up other stuff. What's your favorite show, Fred? Frederick? Of the new ones. All right, where's it? Command transport. Transporter room, energize. Klingon ships detected. There you go. <laughs> I knew I forgot something. Jesus. It's just been too long. Where is he? See, there he is. Now, do we have all our stuff back? Let's stop for a minute. My mouse is being glitchy. I guess I think I have to get a new one. With all our stuff back, let's get the shields up. Turn and face his general direction. I have the settings too high, even for this computer. 32 gig of RAM. It's 
it's an i9 processor. All right. Uh, season three of Picard, I guess you're going to see more starships and you're going to see um, there's that cargo ship again. See him off on the right side. You're going to see more. They're going to give him all a proper send off, I think. Discovery was good. Towards the, uh, the beginning, I didn't like the uh, fact they changed the Klingon so much. But I guess it's a creative license with that. And uh, I'm not one to get stuck on canon and all of that, but it was just strange. But it, and it got it got better. It, the story line got better. Who was the captain that died in the parallel universe there in Discovery? The guy, the man. Who was it? I, li I liked him, but he didn't. Here's that Klingon. All right. Uh, and a Anson Mount is like the perfect Captain Pike. He's perfect. Well, two of them are going to hit. A couple of them aren't. What's he doing? Going after the science ship? We'll distract him. I just left a fire. Will be the last thing you ever see again. Aft torpedoes fire. Remember Khan saying that in Wrath of Khan? Come on. We have any damage? This is no challenge. Tell me where I can find an opponent worthy of my skills. Right here, there, buddy. I think you're Worf's cousin or something. Or no, not cousin. Ancestor. Because this is TOS. <laughs> Why is this lagging? Probably because I'm trying to do too much. Swing around. Come on. Oh, the science ship is back. I disrupt a fire. Will be the last thing you ever see again. I can't get a lock for some reason. It's not. I can't fire. Hmm. Why isn't this thing? I've lost weapons for some reason. Check that. Scotty was sleeping. How's that for a spread, huh? Original sound effects. Get that. Oh, man. He's trying to help. He's got no weapons, though. Get himself killed. Come on. I may have coded that cargo ship wrong. It became an enemy of the Klingons. I should have just had it neutral. I had him go about his business. So you like the Klingons in Discovery? They did. They were pretty evil in that. So yeah, I'll give you that. That's is the Klingon Empire. Speaking of Klingons. Get 
get a lock. It's not locking on for some reason. Or it's not firing. Something's up with it. How long have I been playing? Like an hour? 45 minutes. I can't get it to fire. It's not firing. And it's lagging as well. This is starting to annoy me a little. There you go. I was going to recode this mission. I would get that cargo ship out of the... Uh, recode him to be neutral. This is no challenge. Tell me where I can find an opponent worthy of my skills. Come on. Learning how to. I can't fire. It's not letting me fire. I have no idea why. Maybe the game is giving up. Now we're probably not going to. This is no challenge. Tell me where I can find an opponent worthy of my skills. Oh, I remember this problem. See that torpedo that won't hit? There it goes. It's all those nebulas that are causing the uh, lag. Come on. All right. Something's weird here. We're going to reallocate some power here. I can't fire, which means I can't really finish the mission. Still got quite a bit left to go on here. Dog. Well, you've done something to my weapons. Oh, it might be the sensors. All right. How about we just sit here for a second? Come on. Fight, you honorless dog. I am. You need to fight in open space, I think, rather than all this nebula stuff. This was a problem back then, and it apparently still is. I didn't think to check my sensors. That's it was. Come on. Mighty is the Klingon Empire. Oh, well. Sometimes the sound effects last longer than the actual weapons fire. Game wasn't as absolutely perfect, but we made it a heck of a lot better than it was out of the box. That did some damage. So will that. Ooh. Those Klingon disruptors. Something wrong with the audio on that. Okay, more sensor repair. This is no challenge. Tell me where I can find an opponent worthy of my skill. Yeah, who's got more damage there, bucko? We got him finally. I think. Get over it. All right. Ooh. This is no challenge. Tell me where I can find. 
find an opponent worthy of my skills. Bring it around. One of the uh, coders, shipbuilders, told me why it does that. Torpedo's not hitting. Come on. That'll do it. He's gone. No? Fight, you honorless dog! Says that too much. Was that good? It's like a 40, 50 minute battle there. All right, let's get out of that. I'm going to go to TNG. Where should I go next? Yeah, I know. Torpedoes did circle the ship. That was a problem in the um, the three D model of the ship. Um, I forgot exactly what the corners weren't right or something. I'm not a modeler, so I can't say what it was exactly. But I, I was told some of that never didn't get fixed. And it only happens on occasion. TNG era. The same map, only with TNG ships. Oh, interesting. Um, it's Jupiter Station. Topia Planitia. Where they build the ships. Oh, that one's interesting. I don't know. Oh, Bajor. We're in Deep Space Nine. That's an interesting one. Can't remember what I... Let's go to that one. I'll select the ship. Rhode Island. Uh oh, I got the single player selection set to the wrong race. So forget this. Because with the with the mod tools, you can do that. I can like select Uber ships or Romulans or Dominion or something like that. So let's do this. Oh, okay. Trying to get to an exploration mission uh, that I don't have to pick a ship with. There may not be a lot of them. Disengage. Tactical simulations. Uh, original missions. Borg Dominion Border Skirmish. <laughs> That's a good one. Cardassian Invasion Non Cannon. Cardassian cube lands, the uh, Galar class, and and all the rest dreadnoughts. They attack a Borg cube. Oh, there's one. There's the um, parallel universe, ISS Enterprise, and then one in the the correct universe, diplomatic solutions, Dominion Earth. That was always one of my favorites. I think I I did that one too. What is this one though? Indian Earth. Oh darn! I don't have. I don't feel like going to fix that right now. Uh, Borg Dominion border skirmish. Cardassian. Oh, it crashed. The game crashed. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, let me find. It crashed completely. So I tried to do something that it didn't work. Let me 
fix that single player selection. Uh, I have to get the legacy. Where is it now? Mod tools. Which one do I have? Oh, here it is. Let me see if I can show you what I'm doing here. One second. Share. Screen. Screen. Window. Ultimate Universe Tools. Check this out. Muldurf did all this. Travis Durf. Where you can basically customize everything. <laughs> in legacy which is pretty cool there was two legacy exe files one of them where the chunks fly off and the other one where they don't that's the one where they fly off so i just leave them there um here's a single player selection issue i had it on uber last time i was playing with this i put it back to federation and set it i'm good if you were to play multiplayer, which you can on anything beyond Windows XP, <laughs> which nobody can at this point, I'm sure, unless you have a like an antique machine. I had I got rid of the Borg, so I had Federation, Romulan, and Klingon Dominion. And I could change it to anything else. Section 31, Terran Empire. Two and there's the Borg. And I could have two Federations, you know, what the heck? Multi-era, that's, that's, oh, I had some strange ships in that one. There's something called Versus Battle. That'll be a lag fest on trying to do it live stream. So I think we have like this instant random battle thing, which is interesting. So if I want to be Federation and I want to do, say, two ships and I want to go up against the Dominion, and we're going to use TNG era. Yeah. We could use TOS, theoretically. But it wouldn't make sense. You will get, like, early, less weaponed versions of the Dominion ships in TOS. But um, that wasn't canon. But who cares? We were having fun. Um, and I can pick a map, too. There's all kinds of maps here. Bajoran system. Earth. Something I did. Oh, I just have to pick one. There's so many choices here. How about the Bajoran system? TNG late, which could theoretically be DS9. I don't know why I just didn't write DS9 there. But. And set. So I'm going to have an Akira and a Challenger class. And the bad guys are going to have few more things so i'm going to launch it and i'm going to have to switch the sharing screen so that'll be fun watch for more of these live streams it won't always be star trek legacy i will do other games but this is the one that i'm most famous for you ever hear of a game called starfleet command orion pirates i modified that for tng and i had some pay haters on that one because starfleet command was this this TOS based thing and I took and Ubered everything up. I had some haters on that, but I also had uh, uh, some a lot of fans too. But Star Trek Legacy Ultimate Universe was my most famous one. Now let me get the sharing set. Share oh where to go now. Share screen screen Window, legacy, share. Uh, it's not sharing yet. It will. Stand by. Coming up. Give it a second. Give it a second. There we go. Let me get the, sh the sharing working here. Oh, maybe I can't. Oh, it's going to. Enterprise. Yeah. Sensors are picking up energy variations. Yes, I know, but I can't share the screen. That's a bummer. <sighs> Stand by. It's because of the way I, I have it a full screen. I meant to do windowed on that. 
I'm going to have to start over again. So sorry about that. So yeah, I had it full screen. I can't share it very easily with, with full screen. So I just won't do that. So we'll set this again. Uh, no, I don't like that selection. Set. Hang on. I'm trying to get the right ships. I'm setting that mission again. Instant random battle. How about a century class? And then a whole pile of Dominion things. Uh, launch. Let's see if it's going to share now. Uh, okay, stand by, Captain. Now I can share. It's going to be easier now. Share screen, share screen. Do it in a window, do legacy, hit window, legacy, share. That'll do it. Look at that ship, huh? Engaging target. Oh, I must have shared Frederick by mistake. I didn't. Well, that's cool. Hang on. Let me turn that off. For a second, <laughs> I think I got it now. Engaging target. Engaging target. Uh oh, what are my enemies here? Oh my God! Look at this collection of stuff. Engaging target. Threat neutralized. We have company. Yes, we do. Into attack position. TNG era quantum torpedoes. Their propulsion systems are offline. Target destroyed. We're making quick work of that Breen, aren't we? Their weapons are offline. Ah, it's lagging all to hell. New enemy vessels detected. I want to get that um, Q-Tech class here. Engaging target. We're taking a beating. You are, aren't you? I better go help my buddy there. Get him out of the line of fire. Weapon system damage. Engaging war drive. Let's get him out of the line of fire and just fight with the other one. Oop. Hate it when it does that. Enterprise. Oh, he's smoking all over the place, isn't he? May have gotten in over my head on this one. Boy, he's a badass, that guy. These other guys are pissing me off. We can't hold out much yeah, he's there. gone. We can't hold on any phasers offline. Yeah. Oh, shit. What's hitting me? Oh, boy. Well, I can't win them all. What the fuck? Did I just swear? I did. We're done. I got in too far over my head. Message boys and logs jettison. Attempting to contact... Ah! Target... Well, that's not going to help me much because I got too many other targets. Their shields are gone. Emergency life support engaged. I'm receiving casualties from light and shielded enemies. The uh, this ship is a non-cannon ship, century class, more or less in the future of TNG. All right, wait a minute, maybe I gotta engage you more time. Come 
Come on. Come on. Need a new mouse. I ain't gonna last. How many enemies are still out there? Four. And two of them haven't been damaged at all. I'm done. <laughs> yes, they died with honor. <laughs> we do? Doesn't look like it. The hull's all beat up. <sighs> they died with honor. What was it in Nemesis? They fought with honor, the Romulans. Riker said that to Worf. I don't care what anyone says. I thought Nemesis was a good movie. But I understand that uh, the director did not get along with the Star Trek actors. And he was not a Star Trek director. So. I should just turn back and just take somebody out with me and be done. And let's concentrate on the hull first. Nothing else is going to. Unless I want to do all the weapons. Get them. What would you do, Fred? Would you um, fix your weapons first or get the hull back to normal? Just go like, you put all your power into weapons, you go in there, guns blazing. Everything you got. Invent some shit along the way. Yeah, I thought Tom Hardy did a good job as uh, Shinzon. Cut back the speed a little bit. But they're they're gaining on me. See the my, see the distance. How big is this map? I think I made it pretty big, actually. Did I do this one too? Can't remember. Take us into war. I'm, I wasn't just gonna die like the other guy did. Captain, vessel approaching bearing 161 mark 204 on an intercept course. Okay, Mr. Wharf. Okay. I'm so far out of range of those bad guys now. Now, let's see. How we're doing on repairs. I don't like it. See, while I'm doing this, they're also repairing. Oh, this is the USS Chris Jones. Did you see that? Look at that. Took some liberties when I named some of these ships. Yeah, Tom Hardy. I saw Nemesis in the theater when it was new in O. What was the year? O two. Took my son and and when Picard rammed the Sovereign class into the scimitar or on the edge of our seats and you see that in a theater to have all the surround sound effects and all that that was like mind-boggling at the time it doesn't have the same effect on a television or on a dvd or blu-ray so i saw nemesis live in the theater let me see how's my repairs going you know what give me my weapons we're just gonna do it give me my weapons in fact turn everything off Go down to and just sit here. This map is big enough where I can just run away from everybody. So and get repairs going. In my weapons, I want weapons at full power. And we'll go from there. We've got some viewers out here, which is cool. We're live on Twitch. I had a Twitch channel called Chris Jones Media. I had, and that's still active, but I wanted to start one exclusively for gaming. 
the media one has podcasts on it. This one has all, it's going to be all games. Um, that was Star Trek uh, Generations in, two, in 1994. Yeah, I did. Did I see that in the theater? I can't remember. I'm going to check something. I am live. Let's see if I can. Yeah, see, it's, this is actually playing live on my website right now. ChrisJonesGaming.net. Right on the front page. This is cool. So we'll see that. It's, it's coming from the YouTube feed. Now, my repairs. My weapons are full. Good. What's next? Engines? Well, no. We'll do the hull now. It's pretty boring sitting out here, but I'm kind of doing a strategic move. If I just go in guns, my shields are coming back. See that? All by themselves. I'm not even repairing them. They're just coming back on their own. Let's do that. Since we're just sitting here. This would be like an advanced sovereign class. It's pretty cool. It's called the Century Class. And there was a 3D modeler. His name was DJ Curtis. And this was his model. And I think I forget who did the original uh, porting to Star Trek Legacy with this ship. Because I think it was in Bridge Commander. And that was a good game, too. I made some maps for Bridge Commander. That was fun. I, that was a, a whole bunch of fun, actually. All right. We got to get some stuff going here. What's going? I want my hull back, but it takes forever to replace it. Let's see where the bad guys are. Full sensor scan, long range. They're 36 some odd thousand kilometers away. MM. And they're gaining slowly. They're traveling. That's a Breen. He's the only one I see right now. There's, I think, two other Breen and a Cardassian Hewitt class, which was not in any of the shows, but that I know of. I don't remember it. I think it was a fan thing. Oh, one of the games had it. I can't remember now. We'll just go in the other direction. All right. Hey, weapons are good. Hull's coming back. He's gaining on us still. Looks like he changed course a little bit. I can't go very fast because I'm repairing everything. I could warp out a little further, I suppose. Why don't we do that? Engage warp drive. Past the moon and the planet. Bajor 8. How many Bajors were there? Long-range sensors quit again. Well, they're not... Okay, I finally got to the edge of the map. Slow right down to nothing. Been doing this a lot, long time. How long have I been live? One hour and ten minutes, according to this. Wow. It's still, um, it's live on my website. 
ChrisJonesGaming.net. I don't know if anybody will actually rewatch this. The hull is coming back. You can tell. Let's get the shields back to full. Turn off the hull repair for a minute. I'm going to go in with guns blazing once I get there. That last map had too many uh, nebulas in it, which is why it lagged all the pieces, even on this awesome machine I have. So. So I'm repairing. I'm doing the shields. I'm getting them back to full. But I'm going to put all my power into the weapons once I get them. Once they're up to full. Normal scanners can't even get the bad guys right now. The Cardassians. So this is boring. You're just sitting in space repairing yourself. <laughs> I did promise, and I did mention it a couple times, to talk about what might be coming up on Chris Jones Gaming. I am hoping, and the goal is, to assemble a team and create a game. I mean, that's the long, you know, that's the immediate goal. Getting the team together is... is um, Something I'll be working on actively every day, actually, along with my other regular stuff that I do. So essentially, I want to become a game development place, house, person, not person, team. I can't do it. I don't I don't know how to 3D model. So. All right. Where am I at here? Shields are up. Let's do the hull again for a little bit. We're going to head in their general direction. Okay, that's Bajor 8, which we just whizzed by. And moon. Another moon. Oh, no, that's a planet. There's a moon next to it. Bajor. So DS9 is probably like right there or close to it. Bajoran Sun. There's a moon out there. There's another Bejor, I think. Bejor 3. Any more? No, I guess not. Not on this map. Hull is coming back. All the ships, there's like four of them, and they're all going to be at full strength when I see them again, I'm guessing, because they've had time to repair. So... All right, that's one quarter impulse power. Isn't that what they said? The captain of the Excelsior in Star Trek III, The Search for Spock. Excelsior powering up with orders to pursue. Kirk, you do this, you'll never sit in the captain's chair again. <laughs> that was some. That was it. That was awesome. Star Trek III. So, Fred, are you still with us? I appreciate you hanging on here. Been here about an hour and 15 minutes now. One quarter impulse power. It's like we're not even moving. The hull is doing well. Well, better than it was when I got here, that's for sure. Got three screens going here. I got the main the screen with the game on it, uh, the screen with the stream yard on it, which is how come I'm broadcasting on three different Facebooks, Chris Jones Gaming YouTube, Twitch, and even the Twitter channel. The Twitter channel is Chris Jones underscore now. So, and that, that gets uh, there's people following that as well. All right, where's the? I'm gonna. I think I'm just gonna wing it here in a second. I'm getting sick of sitting around. One half impulse power. Remember Kirk and uh, in TOS, where he's trying to get away from the cube. 
one quarter speed. They didn't use impulse. They said half, half speed, full speed. They wait a while, and then the Kirk says, "Helm, give us warp drive." What was his exact wording there? We still, we still don't have the bad guys in sensor range. And we're slowly, slowly inching towards them at half impulse. The hull is three quarters fixed, repaired now. It's better I wasn't a space dock out here. That would be good. But there isn't. No space dock. I'm looking at my uh, other, other PC over here. Oh, uh, didn't see all the comments from Fred. He was watching on a phone. That's cool. I'm actually playing Legacy on a 32-inch Dell monitor right now. The secondary screen is a 27-inch LG monitor. And the other screen in the background is an HP monitor on a lesser machine from 2013 nine-year-old machine the one i'm playing the game on is maybe a year and a half old all right i think we're gonna go find the bad guys now this is what did uh johnny storm say in that fantastic four movie he's chasing the silver surfer time to end this and uh, that didn't end well for him actually hopefully i can end this well let's warp towards bajor Go. Even at warp speed, we're not moving very fast, looks like, on this map. I may have to hit long-range sensors again. Where'd they go? All stop. Initiating long-range sensor scan. What's that blew by them? Where are they? Hmm. Map's too big. <laughs> Nobody's perfect. Find them at all. Ah, there they are. Dominion attack cruiser. I think they're all separated. That could be an advantage. That is an advantage. Well, let's go find him. Let's just kick his butt. Engaging warp drive. Right near the Bajoran sun. Shields up. Shields are up. Still 20,000 kilometers away. The name of the ship is the White. Not possible, Captain. Oh, can't warp again. Right. Did it too many. Now, let's just head towards him. And we got full hull back now. Let's get more power into diverting power, Captain. Oh, look.
their forward shield is destroyed. Their damage control systems are offline. Their app port shield is destroyed. Their sensors are offline. Their weapons are offline. Not doing too well. Ah, oh, we're back to that again. Torpedoes that won't hit. All right, I'll have to use phasers. That's all. Target destroyed. Many pieces and parts. We're not done. There's like three more of these guys out here somewhere. Ah, there's one. Oh, that's the Hewitt class. Coronac. That's the name of the ship. His speed is reduced. He was at 188 before. Ah. Let's just go get rid of this guy. This won't be quite so easy. I remember taking him out in a Sovereign class one time. But I was a mess afterwards. All right. Where am I, what am I doing here? Where's my energy allocated to? Diverting energy. Diverting it to the weapons, actually. Let's see if I can get more. Diverting energy. Okay. How about see if I can maximize it a little more? There we go. Diverting power, Captain. Okay. We got what well, we got. Phasers. Did Scotty say this? Or somebody, I heard it. Maybe it's one of the fan films. Scotty said the phasers are as hot as we can make them. <laughs> Warp phasers. It was a... Um, um, shoot. James Colley, the Star Trek. Uh, Ticonderoga, New York. He had some fan films back in the day. and I think, had, I think that was on one of his shows. Phasers are as hot as we can make them. How long I've been live? An hour and twenty-three minutes. I like what they did in the Red Alert uh, in the new Star Trek series, Strange New Worlds. They keep it like a low-key thing. And is that going to miss? Yeah, but I don't think. Come on, get a lock. We gotta get his shields down first. Their shields are gone. There you go. Come on. Sensors are at twenty-five percent. Twenty-five percent. Rerouting main power to the sensor grid. He's getting my hull. This may have been a bad idea. Four quantum torpedoes ought to do it. Hey, you know what looks really cool? Watch this. Turn off the HUD. That way you don't get any of the... Then I can't tell how damaged he is. He Emergency looks... life support engaged. Oh boy. I'm receiving casualties from lightly shooting enemies. Message boys and logs generally attempting to contact Starfleet. This is not a good sign.
He's about gone too. No. I right, got him. Target destroyed. But I think there's still two more Breen out there. All the time I spent fixing up my hull, and now it's back to where it was. And I got nothing. I'm going to need sensors if I'm going to find it. I can't sit here all night. This is one of those long games. <laughs> all right. Right over Bejar, this happened. How about that? Is that a black hole in the distance? Way out there. Deep Space Nine. You want to go visit? No, I can see it now. Let's go visit Deep Space Nine. Oh. I'm sorry, Captain. We can't warp. <laughs> Because we're so low on power. Uh, we got no engines. Here, turn that off. Um, we'll head in that general direction. I'll stick around. Sensors for are fully functional. Good. We got people watching still. That's cool. Well, let's see what we got here. Let's see if I can go to warp. In a second. Looks like the weapons are coming back fully. Yep. Weapons are fixed. Turn off that sensor repair for now. Get the engines back up a little bit. See Deep Space Nine in the distance? So if you're watching on a PC or a Mac or something, you might be able to see it. Take us into war. Here we are. Deep Space Nine in the wormhole. What am I doing here now? It's going to be hard to operate without shields. So I'll do that for a bit. Wander in another direction. Hit the long range sensors. See if I can find. Cool. I guess that's a good thing. Now, next. Bajor. Close by.
All I need now is the Defiant, right? I could have actually selected the Defiant. Well, you know what? I'm just going to go find these Breen, wherever they're at. Initiating long-range sensor scan. At least one, maybe two more. Bajor three, Bajor four. If I had all the map, all the Bajors in this map. Speed. I know it sounds like Picard, but. Aha. Right above me. And he's coming at me. He's 38,000 kilometers away. Slow to half impulse. Check the repairs. I don't like it. We're going to have to concentrate on the weapons again. I've already. Diverting energy. Three, 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 five, thirty-three, four. He's actually traveling faster than I am. He's coming towards me. Space nine is far away at this point. See it over there? Legacy wasn't the best at traveling up and down on a map, but it does work. Hour and a half, 93 minutes live. I could warp to him, I guess. What's the status here? Trying to get my hull up a little bit more. I got weapons fully functional and maximum power to them. So that's the goal. We'll have to take some more damage, I suppose. Okay, we're 30,000. Turn off the uh, hull repairs. So we're at normal speed. We're still at half impulse. 252 torpedoes left. Engage your warp drive. How'd he get way up there? Wow. Just wandered because it lost sensor range of me a while back and he wandered out way out of out of range. But well, we're getting getting closer. Yeah, we got him. Only one torpedo is gonna hit him out of all that. Oh, he's gone. Target destroyed. Well, it didn't take much to take him out. That's because I maxed out the weapons. I know there's another one in here because it didn't say mission over yet. say that yet. We're just going to warp in some general direction and see what happens. Initiating warp.
one quarter impulse. Let's do some more work on the hull. Let's do long range sensors. Full sensor scan long range. Ah, oh, it'll take forever to find him. We're going to wrap this up soon. What's that planet down there? Bajor 2. Initiating war. I think we're going to wrap this, unless he got buried in that nebula. All right, Captain, warp speed ahead. Well, I wouldn't think he'd get buried in the nebula. What else is in there? Oh, no, that's the that's Deep Space Nine. We're just going to warp for a while, see what happens. Right past Deep Space Nine again, and the wormhole, and Bajor, and all the moons. Come on. Sir, we're dropping out of warp. All right, I'll do a long range scan from here, if I can. Can't yet. It's got to recharge. Can we do it now? Yeah. Full sensor scan, long range. There is one more ship in here, but he apparently doesn't want to be found. I see he went way up. the top of the map. Warp speed. Come on. Where are you? Jesus, how big did I make this? Wow. Aborting warp, Captain. Well, I think we're going to wrap this. It's been fun.
Oh, crashed it. No, I didn't. Thought I did. Oh, I changed the videos, but I did. Didn't crash. Graphics detail very high. Now, with all those nebulas earlier, I could have had it on lower medium, I suppose. Display mode. 1920 by 1080 is the best. Engage. That was William Shatner. Music volume I kept low because it gets repetitive. And these I don't change much. Oh, okay. I crashed. The computer crashed. I crashed. The computer crashed. Well, I don't want to echo myself, but um, sorry about that. 
um, didn't like something. Maybe because it went 90 minutes live streaming onto several platforms and and I changed something. I probably clicked through all of that a little bit too quickly. So anyway, such as, and it's a little warm in this room too, despite all the fans inside that computer. So we're going to shut the whole thing down for the night. Stream's been going live for an hour and 46 minutes. Appreciate you watching. Uh, there you go. Chris Jones from Chris Jones Gaming. Live long and prosper. Talk again soon. Yeah.